It's Manny again with more pictorial drawings in electrical and I'm going to be drawing some more pictorial drawings for you to get a better understanding on how electrical connections work and hopefully you can clarify that for you and the whole idea of drawing these by hand is that you can practice these at home yourself so let's get started and I'm just going to illustrate a control plug here control plug diagram control plug receptacle and larger slot for the neutral side and something like that there's your receptacle here's your neutral side here's your line side let's put the switch that's going to control it in this corner and a toggle style switch right so from the source okay from the source power we're gonna have a 14 2 that gets pulled into the receptacle box and another 14 2 that gets pulled up to the switch so black white black white lines right so here's your layout right you can see it now the receptacle needs a neutral okay switches don't need neutrals right they only need the switch lines that are going to control either an outlet of receptacle or some kind of other load like a light or a fan or what have you okay so let's just keep that in mind right and once you know that you know that this receptacle needs a neutral and we're going to do that with the neutral to the neutral side it's going to carry the unbalanced load to the source where it originated from right a lot of people think ground to neutral in the panel and the neutral goes back to ground okay that's not actually happening the neutral is going back to the source that being the transformer where it's being supplied from it could be hydro one or whatever supplier is supplying your jurisdiction it makes it to the center tap of the transformer which gets you know calculated on consumption so that's where the neutral is going back out to the source now the receptacle has neutral okay um, we need to bring a power line up to the bottom end to the switch and we're going to do that with the white conductor there's the moret and that's going to get connected to the bottom and identified conductor white line coming to the switch right the black line okay is going to be connected to the upper half of the receptacle so that means this upper section of the receptacle is the only one that's going to be switching but the bottom needs constant power okay your power is in the box here right so with the jumper we're gonna pull let's make it a red line red pigtail okay here okay but you want to break the tab of the receptacle okay so there it is right you can see that your power is going to come in here okay it's going to feed your switch go up your switch right and be able to switch the upper half of the receptacle okay giving your power constant power here with the red line red pigtail and we only did that red pigtail so it's evident when the guy goes and does switches and plugs can you easily distinguish this from being a regular plug okay and messing up the connection now moving on to another connection uh, scenario just grab my paper over here and there we go now over here 
let's illustrate a keyless fixture. Let's just draw it out here. Let me just draw it out here. We have a keyless over here. Uh, we have a single pole switch right here. Okay. We have a fan. Let's make a fan right here. Okay, that's just a fan. It doesn't have a light, it just has a fan. All right, and there's your little tails for connections. Uh, we have a three way. Okay, this fan's gonna, let's make it on a three way. So here's your three way switches for the fan. But this light, okay, uh, what else? Okay, let's put a receptacle right here. It's just a single pole, uh, sorry, a single outlet. Uh, neutral line. All right, so there it is. Now, Your supervisor wants this to work alone with this single pole, okay? And he wants the fan to be able to work with these two three ways, right? Um, it's going to get pulled from the source here. Source power and 14.2 going that way. 14-2 switch line going to the light to control this. We're going to jump the power into this outlet housing the fan. We're going to bring down a 14-3 to this switch. Power is going to be transported over here to this receptacle. And finally, we have the 14-3 that's going to control the fan this way. So if you're going to list it, you're going to go black, white, white, black, black, white, red, black, white, white, black, red, and black, and white there. Okay. Just take a moment to look at that before we start connecting things up. And so as described in the first panel, okay, you want the loads. And in this case, the loads are your receptacle, your fan, and your light, which are loads, which are going to carry neutrals. And those neutrals are going to go back out to the source, to the center tap of the transformer, carrying the unbalanced load per each of going through this one circuit, carrying it out to be measured for consumption. Um, your power, okay, needs to make it here and to your switches to control these three items. So let's go ahead with the connecting. Neutral, we're going to connect it with this neutral on a Marat, okay, and it's going to feed this light, okay, and it's also going to feed the fan for a neutral, okay, and also it needs to make it here to this receptacle neutral. So here's your white line neutral, and it's going to get connected into this device box over here. Now this device box has a lot of wires, three, six, seven, eight, eight conductors in total in this one device box plus a number of marets. You're gonna have to go with the deep box here. Okay, so neutral is going to be connected 
with this neutral to make it to neutral side of the plug. Just as described moments ago, all the three items now have neutral and that's going to make it back out to the source. Now we have to, let's deal with this area first, okay? This needs a power to the switch and your power is here. And that is going to get connected to your white line, your identified conductor in this case, which is going to go here. And your black line is going to go to the light. So you can see that your black line goes down to your switch. And when turned on, it's going to go upstream to your black line and lighting up the bulb and going back out neutral. Moving along, your power is in this moret, okay, and we're going to connect it. Okay, let's just go right here to your line, black line, that is pulled over into the fan box, right? And there it is, okay? Now, we need to bring the feed to here, okay? And to here. So well, you can either use the red or black, it doesn't matter, but just for simplicity, try to keep as clean as possible. You don't wanna make a mistake. You can use the same colors moving your way through. So your black line, okay? comes here, okay, and it's going to get moretted here to here, okay. In your device box, you have another moret now that connects your black line into your receptacle, okay, and with a pigtail, it's going to get fed to this three-way common terminal screw. So that means this three-way, okay, needs the switch line, okay? The switch line is red from your 14.3 and it's gonna, get, it's gonna get connected right here for the fan. Okay, um, now, This got fed, right? So in this area, take note that because it's a 14.3, by default, the guy is going to connect it as so. The black line is going to be connected here to the bottom, and your white and red is going to be travelers, okay? And your white and red, okay, is going to be travelers come in here, you don't want to mix those up, right? And your red conductor is going to be moretted, okay, with this black line. All right, and there it is. There it is, All right? Everything got connected accordingly and that's how you can practice pictorial drawings on your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.